welcome back to another episode of Lindsay Time. In today's video, guys, I'll be sharing to you my experience on the DMV written exam here in California because today, guys, I just took my DMV written test for the first time and I passed it with just one try. So I just want to make this video for you guys to give you some tips and share to you the questions I encountered during the exam. So if you want to know, just keep on watching. In order for you to get your license, you need to have the written exam and the behind the wheel. So the first thing you need to do is to pass the written test exam. And then after that, you will be able to do your behind the wheel test. So I'll be starting off with the documents that are needed when you will go to the DMV for your application for written test examination. So yeah, finally last week I got my green card and so I was able now to go to the DMV and then apply for my uh, written test permit for the driver's license. So the documents that are needed for the application is just your ID, any ID here in the United States. So for me, I'm on my permanent residence, so I showed my green card. And then they also will require you to show your social security number. And then last one is your proof of address. So any utility bills or any papers that has your address, you can show that off. So yeah, those are the three requirements in applying. So the trick guys for you to be able to skip the line and you will be able to wait a little longer. You need to have your application done before you go to the DMV. So just visit their website, then have your online application there and then have your confirmation number be printed or you can use your phone to take a photo of it and then just show it later on to the security guard there who will ask about your confirmation so that you will skip the line. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, and then the best days to go there is like Thursday or Friday because in that time there are less people in the DMV. So in my experience, today is Friday so I went there and it was pretty fast when I went there. There's not that much people around and then when I get in, they just get my confirmation number and then they asked me to wait for my number to be called. It was just like two minutes. After that, I went to pay and everything. After paying, I went to the photo booth to take my photo and fingerprint and then after that I just waited for my name to be called to take the exam. So I'll be sharing to you guys how did I review my test for DMV. Actually guys, I've been driving in the Philippines so I know something about driving. But here, there's a lot of law that you need to follow and everything because in the Philippines, you just drive and they're not really strict with the rules but here, you really, really need to follow so you really need to know all the rules on the road like that so I first started my review by reading the handbook so I have the 2018 handbook and I read that twice and then I'm just watching videos here on YouTube the Q&A questions and then yeah, it really helps a lot. Questions that I've been reviewing on the YouTube videos came out on my exam as well. So it's really nice that some people are sharing too. That's why I'm sharing my experience as well. And also I've been answering the sample questions on DMV site. Super test consists of 10 questions. So that is a good exercise as well. And lastly, I downloaded an application on my phone. I don't know if it's available on Android but I'm an iOS user and these are the applications that I've been using for the DMV test questions. So yeah, those are just the review materials that I have before taking the exam. So by the way guys, I took the computer exam. So at first, I really don't want to take my exam on the computer because I'm better at the written, like a paper in front of me. But the lady said that in taking the exam, you are allowed to take three tries. If you didn't make it on the first try, you can do a second time and the third time at the same day or any time you want or when you're ready. So she said that if I want that paper, I can only do that. 
that on my second try. So meaning on the first try, I need to use the computer. I have no choice but to use the computer and it's touch screen. And if you choose your answer, it won't go right away. You need to always select the submit button if you're final with your answer. And then if you are unsure with your answer or you don't want to answer that questions, that one question particularly, you can skip it, but you are only allowed to skip three times and then the questions that you skip will be shown at the end of your test. So yeah, in my experience, I just tried skipping one question because I wasn't sure, but I got it right. And then guys, you will know right away if you get your answer correct or wrong because after you submit the button, if you get it correct, it will go to the next question. But if you got it wrong, it will show that you got it wrong and it will show you the right answer right away. And then just click the next button and then you may proceed to the next question. There are 36 questions all in all and you are allowed to get a uh, six mistakes or else she'll fail on my exam i got two mistakes and i'll be sharing to you those mistakes guys so there are only 19 questions that i recall i'm sorry if these are just the memory <laughs> of the questions that remain in my mind so okay first question is that you are about to turn right and a pedestrian on your right is about to cross who will go first letter a you have the right of way that there be the pedestrian has the right of way so i don't remember the other choices so the correct answer is that there be the pedestrian has the right of way so always remember that pedestrians always have the right of way no matter what so you should always yield to them so number two when you are merging onto a freeway you should be driving letter a at or near the same speed as traffic. Letter B, 5 to 10 miles per hour slower than the traffic on the freeway. Or letter C, the posted speed limit for traffic on the freeway. So the correct answer is letter A, at or near the same speed as the traffic. Next, number three, when driving in a fog, you should use your letter A, fog lights only. Letter B, high beams. Letter C, low beams. So the correct answer is letter C, low beams. Always remember that you should use your low beams so that you will be able to see because if you use your high beams, it will just cause glare. Next, number four, California basic speed law set. Letter A, you should never drive faster than the posted speed limit. Letter B, you should never drive faster than is safe for current condition. Letter C, the maximum speed limit in California is 70 miles per hour in certain freeway. So the correct answer is letter B. You should never drive faster than is safe for current condition. Next, number five. You have been involved in a minor traffic collision with a parked car and you cannot find the owner. You must. So the answer is leave a note on the vehicle. So give your name, your address, phone number i'm sorry i forgot the the rest of the choices but this is the right answer number six to turn left from a multi-lane one-way street onto one-way street you should start your turn from letter a any lane letter b the far left lane letter c lane in the center of the road so the correct answer is b the far left lane number seven which is dangerous to do while driving? Letter A, listening to music through headphones that covers both ears. Letter B, listening to music through headphones that covers one ear. Or letter C, adjusting your outside mirrors. So, the correct answer is letter A, listening to music through headphones that covers both ears. So, remember that the, it is a no-no to drive with your earphones on, blocking both of your ears. Number eight, tailgating is an example of letter A, defensive driving, letter B, aggressive driving. So the correct answer is letter B, aggressive driving. So never, never tailgate because it can frustrate other drivers. Number nine, should you always drive slower than other traffic? 
Letter A, no, you can block traffic when you drive too slowly. Letter B, yes, it is a good defensive driving. Letter C, it is always safer than driving faster than the other traffic. So the correct answer is letter A. No, you can't block traffic when you drive too slow. Number 10, you see a flashing yellow traffic signal light at an upcoming intersection. What should you do? Letter A, stop. Yield at all traffic before crossing in the intersection. B, stop before entering the intersection as long as you can do safely. Letter C, slow down and cross intersection safely. So the correct answer is letter C, slow down and cross intersection safely. Number 11, it is illegal for a person 21 years of age or older to drive with a blood alcohol concentration BAC of that is blank or higher, letter A, 0.10%, letter B, 0.08%, or letter C, 0.05%. So the correct answer is 0.08%, letter B. Number 12, you are on a left lane and a vehicle behind you wants to pass you. What should you do? Letter A. Maintain your speed and stay on your lane. Letter B, move to the left shoulder and stop. Letter C, maintain your speed and move to the right lane when it's safe. So the correct answer is, maintain your speed and move to the right lane when it is safe. Number 13, whose responsibility it is to know your medications affect your driving? Letter A, your pharmacist. Letter B, your physicians. Or letter C, yours. So the correct answer is yours. You have the responsibility to know the side effects of your medications. Next, number 14. This middle lane of a two-way street is used to Letter A. Pass other vehicles when there is no oncoming traffic. Letter B. Make right turns when there is no oncoming traffic. Or letter C. Begin or end left turns or start permitted U-turn. The correct answer is letter C. Begin or end left turns or start a permitted U-turn. When you approach a roundabout, you must enter to the blank of the central island. Letter A, left. Letter B, right. Letter C, corner. So the correct answer is letter B, right. Number 16. So this question is my first mistake. I got it wrong. On a weather condition which your windshield wiper is turned on high, what else do you need to turn on? Letter A, headlights. Letter B, window defroster. Letter C, fog lights. So the correct answer here is headlights. My answer here was window defroster. That's why I got it wrong. So remember, you should turn on your headlights when it is raining. Next, number 17. It is illegal to leave six years old child unattended inside a motor vehicle on a hot day. Letter A, when the ignition is on. Letter B, never. Letter C, only with the supervision of a person 12 years or older. So the correct answer here is letter B, never. Number 18 is another of the question that I got wrong. As I told you, I got two wrong. So this was the second question that I got wrong. Number 18. You are being chased by a police vehicle with its lights and siren activated. You ignore the warning to stop. You are subjected to Letter A, fine of not less than $1,000. Letter B, you will be put in jail. Letter C, you will get warning. So, the correct answer is, you will be put in jail. So, on my experience, I answered letter A, not less than $1,000. So, that's why I got it wrong. So, remember the correct answer is you will be put in jail. Next, the last question that I have, number 19. Collisions tends to happen when, letter A, all vehicles are traveling near or at the same speed. B, one lane of the traffic is traveling much slower than the other traffic. Or letter C, one vehicle is traveling faster or slower than the flow of traffic. The correct answer is letter C. One vehicle is traveling faster or slower than the flow of traffic. So yeah guys, I hope you learned something from me in 
and those are the questions that I was able to recall during my written test examination from the DMV here in California. So by the way, I took it in Hemet. And after I finished the exam, I just waited my name again to be called for the paper or the permit that they will give me. So I got a paper and it says that I am eligible to drive as long as I have someone with me who already have their license. So basically that's it and to those of you who are planning to get their written test exam this year, good luck to you guys and yeah. Thank you guys for watching and if you like it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be part of my hashtag family tea. See you in my next vlog. Bye!